Good morning, Idaho 547 right now on our Friday morning. You made it to Friday. Congratulations. I hope you keep your umbrella on you, at least this morning. Things look better the later we get into today. But we'll start out our Friday with another chance for scattered showers moving through the valley, the Treasure Valley, and the Magic Valley. The mountains up there could see some rain as well. We'll take a look outside right now. It looks like eastern Idaho getting hit the hardest with the precipitation. We do have some heavy rainfall even north of Idaho Falls, so right around Rexburg, seeing quite a bit of precipitation right now. As for the uh, Treasure Valley, it's really just Mountain Home that's seeing the precipitation is heading toward Twin Falls right now. Temperatures looking okay. 58 for Boise, 57 right now in Mountain Home, but a nice warm pocket of air over Ontario still at 66 degrees. We'll zoom in here. Look at this uh, storm cell that's moving through. It looks like they're kind of shifting south because it's actually rotating around. So Mountain Home seeing the most precipitation. Just a few pockets of moisture through the Boise area into Nampa and Melba. Things actually calming down quite a bit. Twin Falls is what uh, is the area that's probably going to see the most precipitation though today. You can see this swirling around like this. So this cell that's over over Idaho Falls right now, probably going to make its way toward Twin Falls the later we get into today. So if you're in the Magic Valley, you'll see quite a bit of rain, the most consistent rain, I would say, this morning into this afternoon. But after that, things clear up quite a bit. Taking a wider look, this is what's hitting us next. A lot of dry conditions. That's nice. We're really calming down. Just give it a few more hours in Boise and probably until this evening to calm down in the Magic Valley. So checking out our future cast, we'll take a look at uh, this morning around 11 o'clock. A huge difference in weather conditions, even those clouds pushing further east. So Boise calming down quite a bit as we head toward this evening. Mountain home as well. Twin Falls, it'll take a little bit longer, as will the East Central Mountains. But by tonight and into tomorrow, things are looking a whole lot better. We'll see partly cloudy skies, still going to have some clouds up there, and the wind is really going to pick up. But in terms of precipitation, we're drying out, and we'll be able to feel just a little bit warmer with those temperatures warming up. As for the Boise State game tomorrow night, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't such a late kickoff. The kickoff is at 8.15, so we'll already be back down into the mid-60s. By the end of the game, around 11, 11.30, we'll be dropping into the mid-50s. So it will feel chilly, partly cloudy skies, a light wind, uh, tailgating weather, great. We'll see some sunshine, partly cloudy, but we'll still see the sun peeking through the clouds. 70 degrees, that'll feel good, but you'll want to bring your jackets, your coats with you, because it'll get chilly as that game is wrapping up. 76 the high today in Boise. Winds are going to gust about 40 miles per hour, averaging 20 to 30 miles per hour this afternoon. In Boise, so it's really picking up. You'll still want to grab your jacket before you head out the door. Breezy in the Magic Valley. This is where we'll see the most consistent rain this morning before clearing out tonight. 68 the high in Twin Falls. West Central Mountains scattered showers to start the day, calming down later this afternoon into this evening. We're in the upper 60s through the Long Valley. East Central Mountains will see some rain showers, isolated thunderstorms before calming this evening as well. So looking at our extended forecast, temperatures drop once again tomorrow, but the sun does come out. It looks like we'll calm down next week, averaging in the mid 70s. Spencer.